All right, 4-Hers, now we're moving into the order Coleoptera, and this presentation is going to cover Coleoptera that juniors, intermediates, and seniors need to know. Um, what I would know about Coleoptera is that they're all beetles. Um, the host is going to depend on the beetle. This is this is the most um, this is the largest group of insects with the greatest variety among them. Um, they all have a complete life cycle, which means they have four life stages, an egg, a larva, a pupa, and then an adult. They are all um, have chewing mouth parts as the larva and as the adult. <clears throat> and they can be a number of things. They're either beneficial, a pest, or inconsequential for the species that we need to know for the contest. Um, I know, <clears throat> I remember that Coleoptera is the order name for beetle because to me, Coleoptera sounds like Cleopatra. Cleopatra is from Egypt, and in Egypt, they worship beetles. So if you can kind of wrap your brain around that, that might help you remember that beetles are Coleoptera. So juniors, the only beetles that y'all need to know <clears throat> are blister beetles, caterpillar hunters, cottonwood borers, fireflies or lightning bugs, lady beetles or ladybugs, may beetles, also called june bugs, spotted cucumber beetle, and the tiger beetle. And then of course, intermediates and seniors, you have to know everything that the juniors need to know. So one thing about beetles, if you um, have no idea what it is, you, you see this guy in the contest and you don't know if it's a blister beetle, but <clears throat> you don't know what the common name is, hopefully you can at least get the order because if you look at all beetles, they have a hardened, um, they're, they have two sets of wings and their front set of wings, their top set of wings, is called elytra. It's hardened into something called elytra. And that is a really important term that I would know as a junior, intermediate, or a senior. And when that elytra covers the soft membranous wings that are used for flight underneath, they meet together and they make a straight line down the middle. So you remember that for hemiptera, I told you to look how it wraps over and makes a triangle. For, blist, for, be, for any beetle, look and see if there's a straight line down the middle. And if there is, then at least you can get the order, and then you can guess on what maybe the, the common name might be. So for blister beetles, these are three different species of blister beetles, but the one that's striped down here is the one that I would be able to recognize for the contest. So they produce a toxic substance. For some of us, we react to that blister. Some people have no reaction at all. Um, for horses, it can be really detrimental because they'll consume it. And if they consume too many blister beetles, then it can actually kill them. There's actually um, an equation for the weight of the horse and how many blister beetles it could, it could consume till, until it gets to a point that it's deadly for them. Um, the host for blister beetles are uh, alfalfa. Um, actually, it says alfalfa, plants, and weeds. So they're just found on plants. They usually feed on pollen. Um, they chew, so they might also feed on fruit and things like that. They definitely are considered a pest. Complete life cycle, chewing mouth parts. The next one that you guys need to know is the caterpillar hunter. These guys are beneficial because they feed on caterpillars. So um, they're found in woodland areas. That's the host for these guys. They're found on the ground. They're a good sized a beetle, you can really see that straight line down the middle, right? Right down the middle. And you can also on this guy see the head, the thorax region, and then the big abdomen. They're green and metallic, um, active hunters, um, chewing mouth parts, complete life cycle. And that's what I would know about those guys. The next one are the cottonwood borers. Cottonwood borers are black and white, so white with little black spots on them. Very, um, very characteristic, very unique. If you see those, it's always a cottonwood borer. They are found in cottonwood trees, and they're a borer, which means that the larva, so the, the adults will lay their eggs on the tree, on a cottonwood tree, and the larva burrows into the tree, and it has, can cause damage to the tree, so they are considered a pest, but with most borers, they really only cause damage to stressed out trees, so they kind of put them out of their misery. So this guy is also considered a longhorn beetle because a longhorn beetle is just um, a group of beetles that have a similar shape to this guy, and their antenna are longer than the length of their body. 
So if you were to measure the antenna and measure the body, the antenna would always be longer. Um, pest, host is cottonwood trees, um, chewing mouth farts do damage to the cottonwoods in the larva form. And then everybody knows fireflies, right? Fireflies or lightning bugs, either one will be accepted for the contest. Just know um, that lightning bugs is two word is is a uh, well actually lightning bugs is one word, and fireflies is one word because these aren't flies and they're not bugs. They're beetles. If they were called fire beetles, it would be two separate words. So if it's truly a beetle, truly a fly, um, truly a bug, the word fly, bug, or beetle is its own separate word. If it's not a true fly, beetle, or bug then it's smushed all together. Dragonfly is one word, right? Firefly is one word. These are considered inconsequential as far as if it's a pest or not. They're, you know, of course we enjoy seeing them in the summertime. They have a little organ in their abdomen that lights up and it's species specific. So they will do patterns so that they can find their buddies, especially find mates. And there are some species of fireflies that will mimic the species of others to draw them in so they can eat them. So they are predatory, really cool bug. Um, if you get one for your collection, that's a really special one to have. If you're able to collect a bunch of them, I would love to have one from you because I don't have any fireflies in my collection. But they kind of look like a roach, but they've got that pink on them and they have that straight line down the middle. Roaches' wings are not, are not gonna show that straight line. Lady beetles, everybody should know a lady beetle, right? A lady beetle or a ladybug. Um, for the contest, it just says lady beetle. So if you put ladybug, you're probably going to either get it completely wrong or half off. So for the 4-H contest, call them lady beetles in two separate words. Definitely beneficial. Love to eat aphids. Um, the host on, on the, for the contest, it says they're found on weeds. You and I know that they're found on all sorts of plants. And aphids are their favorite host. And there you can see the life cycle, right? The only part I do not have is the pupa eggs, here's two larvae, and then we're missing the pupa stage, and then it becomes an adult. May beetles, June beetles, or June bugs, however you want to call them, either of those three will be accepted. Um, as adults, they're found on shrubs, but they lay their eggs in the soil, and the grubs live in the soil, and during the summer months only, they feed on the grass. They feed on the roots of your grass. And so there's a picture that shows some grub damage in the summertime. Um, they eat on the roots, the plant dies, and then you can basically just lift up the grass almost as if it's a, a carpet. So definitely considered a pest, chewing mouth parts, and it's the larva that's considered the pest form. And then we have um, spotted cucumber beetles. These look like ladybugs that are green, but they're not. These are a pest. Ladybugs are beneficial. And to me, the shape is different. These guys are skinnier and a ladybug is like a, is like a round circle, right? They are um, found on vegetables, pests of veggies. For the host, we're going to say that it's a weed because that is where they find harborage during the day. That's where you can usually collect them. They're also called the southern um, root corn worm or corn root worm, sorry. Adults are found on weeds, feed on veggies, the larvae do as well. They're um, a pretty significant pest. If you have a garden out in the fall time, uh, especially, you'll see these guys on your cucumbers as your cucumbers start to die off. And then you also see them on your squash plants too. And finally, we're the last beetle that juniors need to know for the 4-H contest for 2018 is the tiger beetle. So you're probably going, you're, this is just a picture of a cool one that I wanted to show you that they come in all different sizes and are all different colors. Size and shape is about the same, but um, actually size varies, but shape is the same. They have those big giant eyes. They're like a skinnier version of maybe a caterpillar hunter. So don't get confused, but they're metallic. So if you see a cool looking metallic, they can be blue, they can be green. Um, that's a tiger beetle. Beneficial. They are um, found on trails, shady trails. I always see them in, on sandier soil. They're really fast runners. They can also fly, but they kind of skit on the ground really, really, um, they barely get off the ground. They have a big head, so they have giant mouth parts and they use those for chewing up predators um, or prey. And they, 
Fast runners, long legs, beneficial, found on shady trails, chewing mouth parts, complete life cycle, just like every single other beetle. So those are the six or seven beetles that you need to know if you're a junior. Intermediates, you also need to know this. Seniors, you also do as well. And I'm going to post another video of the, the insects that intermediates and seniors need to know, and then the ones that only seniors need to know.